<clears throat> Hello, America. This is your presidential nominee, Jeremy Stamper. I'd like to talk about this nation um, and the state it's in. I've been really worried about some of the candidates that have been running, and I've been really scared, actually, for the fate of what this nation could come to. Because some of the candidates of the President of the United States of America, they shouldn't be able to, they shouldn't be allowed to call themselves that, honestly. Some of their platforms are socialist, maybe close bordering on communist. I want to take a walk down memory lane for some, and historical lane for others who weren't there. But, you look at socialists, and who do you think of? You think of Nazis. The National Socialist Party of Germany. A party led by a man who single-handedly killed or was responsible for the killing of six million people. Six million people, that's a lot of people. It takes maybe almost a year to count to a million. Now, before you vote, you ca before you cast a socialist vote, count to six million. And every time you say one number, that's a person who died. Sorry. It's hard to sit by and think that some people could be allowing in this nation a great travesty, an immense, immense evil to come back. But then I think about what leads to communism, social, socialism leads to communism. You look at a communist kind of dictatorship or country, you look at Russia, communist Russia led by Stalin, who was more arguably much more evil than Adolf Hitler, killed many more people than the German Nazi party. Count. Count every dead person you can when you cast a vote for these socialist people in this class who have listed their platforms as socialized health care or any kind of socialized social program that helps the less fortunate. Do I wish to hurt the less fortunate? No, I do not. I do not, America. But should I provide for the less fortunate by using the money of not the fortunate, but the middle class? Not, they're not unfortunate enough to receive money. And they're not fortunate enough to be able to not be hurt by that. It's the middle class who suffers. I don't wish to hurt the man who earns $15 a week. But I sure don't wish to provide life for the man who earns $15 a week by the money of the man who earns $45 a week. That doesn't seem right, does it? Just because the man who earns $45 isn't unfortunate enough. Oh, this nation is beautiful though, isn't it? Every time you take a walk, every time you go for a swim, every time you're able to sing your favorite song out loud, Every time you're able to look at someone and express your ideas freely, that's something you can't do in other countries, America. Something you cannot do in many other places. There are actually police that will kill you on the spot if you sing out loud. <laughs> Silly, really. In this country, we should be allowed to have all the individual freedoms a man could have. And that's why I represent the Pole Party, Protectors of Liberty. We stand with a shining silver beacon of light in order to push out all the evils in this world and protect the liberties us humans have. I wish that I would have a sword of St. Michael to pierce the heart of any evil that may wish to take over this nation, but America, I don't. I have this seat of presidency that I can win. And I promise you, if you vote for the poll party this coming Tuesday, all your dreams will come true.
every wildest dream will come true. And that, my children, came from my heart to your ears. Good night.